J Drone here. Uh, this is a review of the Striker from World Tech Toys in heavy to moderate wind. As you see me just knock all that snow off the top of uh, my flight pad, which is just a upside down wire bucket. Um, we got a considerable amount of snow last night. Well, we're gonna go ahead and take this up and see how it fares out. It is February the 10th, 2016, 29 degrees out, precipitation is 15%, humidity 59%, and the wind is 13 miles an hour. And this is up there. I'm not going to take it up uh, like I did yesterday just because of the wind. Um, and the wind, I would assume, is much stronger up there because there's nothing to block it. And so far, no issues. It's flying quite nicely. The wind is pushing it slightly. You can see my nose tilted down, fighting the wind a little bit. But I'm still able to fly this. For an extreme beginner, I wouldn't suggest doing this. Um, just because you do have to constantly tilt and uh, maneuver the striker with any drone in the wind. That way it doesn't take it. And if it takes it and you're up high, you're going to be on a scavenger hunt. And again, this is dealing with this one very well. I was unsure if I was going to be able to record today due to the wind. But I'm very impressed with this. And I'm just going to go up here by the road. Um, kind of a precaution for myself because, like I said, there is a lot of snow. And if it does fall in the snow, it's probably not going to hurt anything. But it is very fluffy snow. I'd rather it not go in the snow at all. Um... So we're going to go up here by the road. You can see it's slightly drifting. Fly it all the way out. And we'll bring it back. You can see I'm kind of staying low to the ground right now. Um, you go way up high, it's, it's going to be hard to control. Much nicer day out today, minus the cold. It is slightly colder than it was yesterday. And there, you see it almost standing still. And actually it's drifting backwards and then pitched forward. That's me fighting the wind. And this is doing quite well. Very impressed by this run. And it might be slightly flurrying, but I think the most of the stuff that you're seeing pass by the cam is uh, drift from the wind coming off of uh, the houses across the street from me. And again, if you're going to fly in residential areas, be careful. Um, you can see the power lines above me. I just did a backflip. And we'll do a left barrel roll. But uh, you have power lines. You have other people's houses. You don't want to cause damage to anybody's property. You don't want to cause damage to your quad hitting uh, power lines and have crashing down and possibly getting electrocuted. I don't think that would happen, though. But still, you don't want to hit a power line. Yeah, this is performing excellent. Um, and a backflip. The wind took it just a little bit, but we're able to fight back. Fight back, come back to the road, no issue. lower to the ground you are, easier it's going to be able to control. The higher up you go, the harder it's going to be able to control. And 
And again, you can see the wind pushing it to the left, and then we're fighting back. You go to low to the ground to fight back, and then you come back. And there you're seeing another flip. Doing acrobatics in this, very impressed. And I believe I just seen the lights blinking, so I'm going to bring it back, and that's a good catch. And I'll show you, this is on my computer. True story. Thanks for watching.